Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about few UGC Care Journal and um, um, it is free to use. Okay, so it's an unpaid one. If you are new to UGC Care portal, that is a website, then this is a website where you can find the cloned journals here. Okay, so you have a group one and group two cloned journals. So beware of this, don't use this cloned journal. And if you want to know what is a cloned journal, then please visit my playlist website. Sorry, please visit my YouTube playlist that is uh, all about research. There I have discussed about cloned journals. I'm also leaving the link in the description. So here, if you want to uh, search for any uh, thing, any uh, journal related to your stream, then you can either click here like UGC Catalyst Group 1, UGC Catalyst Group 2, any one. So once if you click there, it will take you to this particular uh, site. So once if you click search, okay, it will take you to this site. Okay, so here you can find based on the domain like science, social science, arts and humanities, multidisciplinary and in Indian language. If you are very familiar with your domain, like for example, if you want to go, if you are uh, uh, in so from social science, then you can directly click here and see what are all the uh, what are all the journals which are there. I am giving a disclaimer that please visit the journal and check whether the journal uh, name is there in the UGC Care journal. If you are, you may see this video after a month or after two months or even after an year. Okay, so uh, it is not uh, compulsory that the uh, journal will be there always listed in the UGC care as well. Okay, so because few are commenting that this is not listed in the journal, this is not listed in the Scopus, this is not listed in the UGC, but you have discussed about it. When I am discussing, I will be discussing about what are the journal which are there in Scopus and UGC. Okay, clear. Then, once if you click here, you can see the complete information where you have to check this first. Okay, UGC coverage year you can see here, and this is from October 2021 to present. Present means still it is there in UGC care. Okay, so if it is not there, then they will be mentioning like this from June 2019 to September 2019, but it is indexed in Scopus, it is not in UGC care. So Please very uh, be very clear that a uh, few universities will be expecting the journal which are under UGC care uh, uh, UGC care database. Okay, so it has its own protocol, and Scopus Index is an another set of database. Okay, and Web of Science is an another set of database. So be very clear about your university expectation or your guide expectation, like what exactly they wanted, and in which database you wanted to publish. Clear. So, if you click on the view, you can see the information about that particular journal, like what is the name of the journal, what is the language, and who is the publisher, ISSN, ESSN, okay, discipline, so they are concentrating on social science, subject, economics, econometrics, and finance, focus subject, what is the focus subject, and UGC care coverage, since when it has been covered okay so if you click on this it will take you to the journal uh, web page journal page so you can find some more information about it okay so here you can see that which journal you are just trying to see and you can see that this is Adrika FPI journal of economics and governance right so this is what the journal duration and what is the journal copy and if you want to know so I am not going to discuss about this particular journal okay I am I just wanted to tell you that this is how your UGC portal will look like okay now let us go and understand we are going to see the first one is what the social sciences and arts and humanities all subject it covers okay we are going to talk about journal of heritage management okay it's still there in the scopus and it is a multidisciplinary journal okay if you click there it will take you to this page so the issue is what frequency is by annual june and december you can see here and if you just scroll down you can see complete information about that particular journal okay and if you go and click on the aim and the scope it will tell you like what are the aim and what is the scope of the journal okay the complete aim and the scope of the journal here you can find what are all the other topic which they are covering arts history architecture archaeology anthropology ecology biodiversity so all these things okay and you should also check abstract and index 
okay so what where it is abstracted where it is indexed everything and the submission guidelines so here you can see that there is no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal okay you don't want to pay any fees almost in every journal they will be giving you like what are the type of um, type of thing which you can publish like either it should be on um, book or it should be a book chapter or it is a research or it is a survey paper so all these things they'll be asking you so they are uh, so you can submit any one of these things okay case study means it should be 4000 to 6000 words you can see here research article okay so here they have given the complete information you have to understand what you exactly require okay so uh, what are the other information which they have given and also check like uh, uh, what is the exact time period they are taking to uh, like uh, taking to respond you back whether it is accepted or rejected okay also you can find a mail id under that which is used to communicate with that particular editor so if you want to know some more details about it you can um, directly send a mail to this person and get to know about it okay so this is the first journal we have discussed the second journal which we are going to discuss is what studies in humanities and social sciences this is also a multidisciplinary journal and this covers arts and humanities social sciences and everything and this is still indexed in ugc cad so if you come here and see you can see that there is no publication fee and it is by annual which means that june and um, December. You can see the complete um, manuscript that is what are all the subfields which they are covering in this. Okay, complete manuscript information over here. And uh, here, the important thing which you should check is what you have to check the author guideline. Okay, so uh, uh, like in few journals, they'll be giving you the direct template. Okay, you can simply download the template and edit that. But in the f in few journals, they'll be giving you an written format like it should be in um, font size should be 12 numbering should be like this and table should be like that so they'll be giving like that you have to uh, you have to uh, edit your uh, uh, content accordingly okay also uh, take care of the plagiarism policy like how they are how much plagiarism they're accepting whether it should be like a 15 percent or a 10 person okay. okay so you have to and other than that you, if you want to communicate if you have any questions to ask you can directly send a mail to this particular person and they will be responding you okay so this is about this particular journal so let us go to the next journal which is colombo business journal so this is a journal uh, where this is specifically for uh, finance business etc so uh, let, let us see that okay if you click on the home okay let us go to the home in order to see what are all the other uh, uh, thing which are available here so here you can find colombo business journal and if you just scroll down you can see the aim and scope of the journal so here you can see field of business management and organization in the local regional global area and other than that like management okay so all these things you can find it here they are concentrating on the empirical papers conceptual papers and literature review so if you are confused with what are these types of papers and if you want to know about this please leave your comment i'll be explaining about this okay so uh, you can see that cbj does not charge any submission processing or publication fee so you don't want to do pay any fees for this and uh, the, uh, so if you want to know about the publisher you can see here okay and about the issues okay uh, so you can go and see that issue archive if they haven't specifically mentioned about the issue then you can go and check here i have already discussed about this also as well in the previous videos if they haven't um, specifically uh, told about any specific issue then you can go and see here it is also a by uh, annual okay by annual but i think uh, they will be processing fast so if you can if you want you can just directly go and send a mail to them uh, requesting like other uh, details whichever you wanted to know okay also check if you have any frequently asked question pages available in any journal page okay there is no faqs available here 
okay if in few journal they'll be providing faqs where they'll be uh, discussed they might have discussed about how long it will take to process your submitted uh, uh, article to uh, respond you back so all these things so this particular thing is not here so you can send a mail if you want to know about how to send a mail uh, to know about the processing dates and processing time then then leave your message i will definitely help you out and finally this is an african journal of accounting auditing and finance uh, so this is four issues per year and you can see that you have almost all the possible topics which are related to management and uh, finance okay so this also you can consider and there is no fee payable for this particular journal okay <clears throat> there are no charges for publishing this and you can find the format here so uh, this is uh, this is indexed in um, ugc care as of february 2023 okay 2023 but i am not sure if whether it will be indexed even after the next month or even in june or even in august so please revisit it before you submit please recheck before you are planning to submit your article to any specific journal not only the journal which i am discussing even if you are searching from any other thing any other uh, uh, database like scopus web of science please go and check take care bye bye